in this video, I'm gonna share the app that I use to track my habits and to help me stay on top of them. I'll be talking about why I chose this app in particular and my favorite features about this app. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Jerry. Before we talk about the habit tracking app that I mentioned earlier, I just wanna let you know that I did create a video, I think last year, on tips on how to build new habits. So if you wanna check that out later on, I'll have it linked down below in the description. So let's get onto the app. The app I use is called Streaks. I've been using it for about a year and a half now. And as I said before, I use it mainly to track my habits and hold myself accountable. Three big things that I absolutely love about this app are the ease of use, the simplistic design and overall interface, and lastly, the overall capabilities, specifically in the way it handles and displays data. So let's go ahead and actually create a new habit from scratch. I'm here in the Streaks app in the main screen, so I'm gonna give a quick demo. Let's go in the settings, add a new task and I'm brought with some categories like a new health task, a new eat task, and lastly I can like create one of my own. So I wanna create one of my own. And let's say, for example, let's do a habit of brushing our teeth. Um, so I'll title it brush teeth. And I'll click next. Once I click next, I'm brought with a template to customize the habit slash task. And it applied this icon by trying to recognize um, what well, I typed in for the title, but I got a paintbrush instead of a toothbrush, so I can change the icon to select a better icon. So I'm gonna select an actual toothbrush instead to represent the habit. Go back here. Next, I can edit the frequency of the habit. So the first thing I choose is either a daily habit or a weekly. And for brushing teeth, I'll pick daily. And then for the task days, here's where you can get even more specific. You can choose specific days of the week that you want to do the habit, or you can do a miscellaneous number of days per week, like a number of days per month, or even every few days. But for now, since it's brushing teeth, I'm gonna pick every single day of the week. And lastly, I can choose how many times I want to perform the habit per day. And I'm gonna pick two, because it's very hygienic. And now I can save the task and going back to the main screen, I can see that it appears in the bottom right here. So to actually start marking and tracking your habits, let's say I brush my teeth in the morning, I'm here in the home screen, I just press and hold the brush teeth icon. And as you can see, it fills halfway because I marked it that I want to do it two times per day. So let's say it's nighttime and I brush my teeth again. I go in the app, mark it again. And this time it fills up the whole circle and starts a one day streak. And it also plays a small chime if your phone's not silent, which is also nice. Moving on to some other features. If you go into the app, uh, tap once instead of holding on the habit, it gives you a monthly view of the current month. And if you press and hold there, you can go through previous months and see uh, what days you completed them, uh, which days you missed. And you can also edit previous days. Let's say you made a mistake tracking your habits one day or just forgot to track. You can go ahead and fix whether or not you did the habit or missed a day. Okay, so here's my favorite part of the app. If I instead go on a habit and tap twice, I can now see some data and statistics. I can see my current streak, my best streak, uh, progress for the week. I worked out five days this week and met my goal. I can see my percentage for the last 30 days. But now the cool thing, I can click and hold from here and now I can see even more data. It shows me a bunch of cool statistics and at the top I can change it and view statistics by year or I can even view specific months. And some cool statistics to point out, um, let's go back to all time. It compares which weekdays you perform the habit the most, what times of day you perform the habit the most. But yeah, I really like this feature. This data can actually be very helpful when reassessing your progress. Let's say for example, I complain that my diet and workout plan haven't been working after a few months. Instead of complaining, I can go back, look at the actual data and ask myself and be honest with myself, did I stick with my strict diet? Did I stick with my workout plan and work out five days a week? If not, then I have no reason to complain 
training. These past few months, I have actually stayed consistent with these habits, with my diet and working out. And if I look back, I've stayed consistent. And now if I look at myself now, I have noticed that I do look leaner and do look more muscular. So that hard work and consistency paid off and it's reflected in the data that I collected with the habit tracking app and what I see now in myself. The Streaks app isn't just for tracking good habits that you want to build. It can also be used to track your progress on bad habits that you want to stop. The process is almost identical as creating a good habit. So let's create a bad habit now that you want to stop and go uh, settings again, add a new task, and I can go to the right here and it shows some common bad habits. I'll press uh, don't smoke. I don't smoke by the way, but this is just an example. And let's keep it a daily task. And we want this to be tracked every day. And the only difference here is that instead of setting the amount of times that you want to perform this habit, you set a limit at which you can form this habit before it counts as a miss. So in this case, I'll set it, I'll keep it at one time per day. So if I smoke once in a day, it is counted as a miss in the data collection. So I'll save the task here. And we can see in the main screen, instead of being empty, it's already filled in because it counts as a success for the day if we don't smoke. Let's say we do, I press and hold the bad habit and it's counted as miss and plays a bad chime. So that about covers most of the features of this app, but some other features include setting up notifications, if you want reminders to complete your habits, being able to track 12 habits at a time, and lastly, you can change the color theme of the app. Right now, I just chose red. If you're wondering, and if you saw in the screen recordings, some habits that I'm building right now are uh, working out at least five days a week, fasting until 12 p.m., taking a cold shower every morning. That was really hard at first, but I'm almost to 100 days in a row of taking a cold shower in the morning. So I'm pretty proud about that. And two other habits that I wanna build, but still struggling a little bit to stay consistent reading every single day. Right now I read around two or three days per week, but I wanna push that to every day. And lastly is the habit of meditating every day. I know that would be really good for me, but I've tried in the past and it's been just hard just sitting down and being quiet and still for like 15 or 20 minutes. So I'll probably do that about like once a month, but I really wanna do that more consistently per week. Those are all my habits. If you're interested in getting this app for yourself and playing around with it, you can find it on the App Store for $4.99. You can get it on your iPhone, iPad, and I think more recently, it's now available on Mac. Uh, unfortunately, if you're not on iOS and if you're like on Android or something, that's not available. One thing to note before I close this video off is that getting this app won't magically make you stick and stay on top of all your habits. It helps you be honest with yourself with the data it collects. It is a tool to help you track your progress, keep you accountable. And when you do start building habits and you get on streaks, seeing your progress and streaks can be a boost of motivation for you. So that's all I have on the Streaks app. If you've taken any value from the video and or you enjoy watching, I'd appreciate it if you left a like or even a comment. And if you wanna see more content like this moving forward, I do other lifestyle and tech videos. Consider subscribing to my channel to show your support. I'm Jerry and I'll see you next time.